Here is the old crusty RAV4, the one that kicked my butt uh, with the uh, bad PCV. Um, uh, probably should get these first. Two thousand two hundred and sixteen thousand. Sounds a lot quieter than the last time I looked at this. I diagnosed this <laughs> a week or two ago. The uh, belt tensioner is extremely noisy. This is pretty quiet for what it was. Uh, can't really get in there to take a picture of it. That's what it's here for. It's here for a belt tensioner. Uh, so I took off this panel. Uh, that's all I did so far. And I'm going to get right into it. Alright, so I took this off. Put it to the side. I didn't really want to mess with it too much because it's so rusted. Um, but I pulled off this bracket was here. And this was on top. I'll come down here to disconnect the grounds and when I disconnect this one it's got a lot a lot of corrosion in there green crusties so before I put this back together I'm gonna try to clean that up as best as I can probably pull, pull the connector apart take the deep in it clean it up real good um, I don't know if there's any issues with it or whatever but uh, I guess it's going to be a little bit of a preventive preventive thing but uh, next up is to jack it up take the wheel off and then take this upper mount off and give me plenty of room to to work down there to get to these tensioners in the idler for the serpentine belt about to remove the mount um, right here, there is a nut right there, see the rust stud, uh, going from the bottom. That's what's holding this thing in, so you gotta take out, you don't have to take the mount completely apart there and there, but you just take, here's a, there, these are all 17 millimeter head, there, there, here, here, and here, and then you have to get on the bottom take that stud off and this whole assembly with the motor mount will come out I have the engine supported right here with uh, some wood on a jack and uh, that's where we're at now before I pulled the uh, belt off I drew myself a diagram all right and um, it's actually, this tensioner is actually part, is, is actually the uh, compressor mount. So, it's uh, pretty stuffed in there. So I disconnected the battery there, taking this upper support off, and I'm going to pull the alternator. Uh, trying not to disturb these AC lines and these coolant lines. These coolant lines look pretty ugly. <clears throat> but... I might actually, uh, I might actually disconnect these coolant lines. Just, I'd rather break a rubber line, or you know, damage a rubber line rather than damage these lines. Um, yeah, this thing's pretty rotted all over. But next, remove the radiator. Um, this was pretty difficult due to all the rot. I gotta replace all these hoses. Um, or not the hoses, the uh, clamps. Um, transmission cooler line. Where is it? It was so corroded. That one, that one broke. Um, it was so corroded around there. And this one is uh, 
pretty beat up. I didn't want to disturb it too much. As you can see, the lower, the lower transmission core line is really bad. <coughs> but now I have plenty of room to remove the AC compressor away from the bracket. And uh, <coughs> that way I'm, I can avoid, you know, uh, releasing the uh, refrigerant. Now let's get to it. After I got it pulled away, you can see the bracket there, right? You see the 14 millimeter bolts, one, two, three, there's your crankshaft position sensor. If you look at the bottom of the bracket, there's a bolt missing there and a bolt missing there. Um, Hopefully they're not broken into the head or um, into the uh, engine block, but um, you can see it's there's been missing for quite a while. So I'm gonna get those three out and then uh, we'll see what happens. Got the bracket out, tensioner. Holes. Um, I can't put this. It don't look like it. <clears throat> it look okay. They look okay. Um, however, I am going to blow it out and I'm going to chase those threads and I'm going to try to see if I can find uh, see if I can find two bolts for that. Um, that's part of the well it is it, it's the um, bracket for the air conditioning compressor and uh, I don't want that thing moving around any um, yep always a surprise after all that let's check our water pump you can hear that that water pumps <clears throat> no good actually I don't know if you can see it has a lot of play. So that's going to need to get be replaced along with the thermostat. Um, these were your pulleys that were bad. It's hard to hear it. <clears throat> it's the one. Here, rattling. <clears throat> now to get these out, I already took it out and I'm just putting it back in just to so you can see. What I do is before you take the belt off, loosen all your, your bolts there, and then um, sometimes you can get the pulley out, you know, pry the engine over a little or loosen a couple other engine mounts or whatever but what I what I do is I just let it focus I loosen it push it out of the way for whatever bolt I need to and then push that out of the way again for the other bolt and then I put it back on the shaft if I have to just so I can get the, uh, the whole thing out and it comes right out so just a little bit easier way to get it out. Obviously, you have a bunch of bolts. Um, they're 12 millimeter, uh, 12 millimeter, and um, 10 millimeter heads. And this pump was shut. Guess I should get a freaking tripod one of these days. You can hear it. Scrap pile. Before you put everything back in, um, goes without saying, uh, clean everything up as best you can. Uh, use a scraper, wire brush, whatever. Try to not get any debris inside any of it, any uh, anything there. You know, protect the new. Components you're going to be putting in. 
clean it up, get all the grooves in there, clean up inside there where the O-ring goes, put a new ring over, new O-ring on and lube it. And while you have it off, clean the threads up all the way around on the bleeder. And uh, put a little bit of put a little bit of PB blaster or whatever you you want to use on it. Uh, free it up now before you put it back on the car. That way you don't have to. Uh, if something breaks or whatever, you can do it now, fix it now, rather than having to take it all apart. I like to make sure I have all the bolts in first before I start tightening any of them down. Okay, make sure you make sure you put them all in, obviously. Um, but this is what I'm talking about. See, it's loose, so you can move it around, and you have, you know, that that bolt there, and you can move it around and move it to that bolt there. Okay. And while I was under here, I found some some loose stuff. So, I'll try to tighten that up for them. Hopefully, uh, it's not stripped or whatever. But, and there's the tensioner that I put on. I took the pulley off to make it easier. And uh, this is pretty much done. Uh, the only thing is that uh, it is missing. Um, it's missing thermostat missing the thermostat gasket I could have sworn that the thermostat came with the gasket so I have to go get one of those and I'll have to do I'll have to finish the rest of this tomorrow hopefully it doesn't snow but uh, I'm gonna put the tent up tonight anyway uh, that way this car is definitely done tomorrow here's a little tip <clears throat> put a couple little dabs of RTV in there to help hold this gasket in place. Uh, it just helps a little bit. Uh, you don't want to make a gasket. Um, you don't want to use the RTV as a gasket. You just want to use it to where, these typically, uh, they kind of stay in there anyway. So, that right there. And clean it up a little bit more and uh, get it out of the, get it out of the hole there. right there and then when you go to put your greased up piece in that's where it mates to uh, it won't fall out on you and, and uh, or, or like a little piece of it fall out and then when you start filling it up you'll find it you'll find the leak real quick all right, the, the uh, Toyota is done. I had to skip ahead. It was uh, it was snowing, and uh, right now it's actually like 16 degrees. So it was cold. I had to get this thing done. But I left off at putting the thermostat in. Had to get the gasket. Um, everything is pretty much self-explanatory. It's reverse reverse operation there. You know, I put some uh, goo on to hit the alarm button by accident. Um, just making sure everything's good. The levels and everything, he's coming to pick it up now. Uh, yep, replaced all the, the buttons on there. They were all missing, broken and stuff. Um, but it runs good, it's quiet. And it's buried in there. Jesus, I keep hitting that damn button. And, uh, and that's it.